الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي اضاف ما حميده جميع خلقه كما يحبه ويرضى سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم سبحانك لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم اجعلنا دعاة اليك والى رسولك اما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في كتاب الكريم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله يتوفى الانفس حين موتها وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم تحفه المؤمن الموت صدق الله العلي العظيم وصدق الرسول الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين ومن الشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين indeed all praises are for Allah al ahad Allah who is one al awwal the first bila bidayatin without any beginning al akhir the last bila nihayatin and there is none after Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as samad eternal absolute complete lam yalid wa lam yulad Allah begets not nor is he begotten wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan nahad there is nothing there is no one to compare to Allah the greatness of Allah the azmat of Allah the jalal of Allah Allah is mighty and powerful Allah is established on his throne Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al alim Allah who has knowledge of the affairs of the mukminin and the mu'minat of the insan above beneath on the sides between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is khabirun bima ta'malun he is well acquainted he is well aware of all our actions all our doings my dear brothers and my dear sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his rahmat through his mercy and his compassion Allah chose to send Qatimun Nabiyyin the seal of the messengers Ashraful Anbiya the best of all the prophets that that came on the face of the earth Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam Allah chose him to send him towards this dunya send him towards this earth so that he will bring this deen he will establish this deen even though the pagans may detest it even though the polytheists may detest it the deen of Allah al islam wa may yabtaghi ghayra al islam deena whoever wants another path whoever adopts another path whoever chooses another path fala yuqbala min it will not be accepted from him it will never be accepted from him because in deena in Allah al islam because the way with Allah the most accepted way with Allah the only path that is chosen by Allah is islam that the religion that Allah had sent his rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam with alhamdulillah you and i my dear brothers and sisters who are present here today you and i we are reaping from this deen known as al islam look on the outside look uh, just outside our homes and we will see how many people are worshiping others beside allah we will see how many people are on dhalala how many people are on misguidance how fortunate is this ummah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that we have a code we have a way of life we have a deen not only a deen but the al deen ad deen the only way of life that allah is going to take on the day of qiyamah we are here in a time my dear brothers and my dear sisters we are here at a time perhaps we have not recognized perhaps we did not realize that today yawmul juma this is the last friday in the islamic year today insha allah next week tuesday we will be looking for the hilal to begin the new the new year the new islamic year the month of muharram 
Today is a day that we need to do some introspection. Today is a day we need to stand in front of the mirror. Today is a day we need to question ourselves. Where did I come from? Look at me. I have grown like a little seed grows from the earth when water falls upon it and the tree grows. It produces fruits. People benefit from it. Some of the fruits, they are not good. People don't benefit from it. Ask ourselves today, this seed that was planted, how much years do we have? Ask yourself, how much people have I benefited? How many people have benefited from me? How many people have I caused harm upon? How many people have I shown another part other than the right way? Ask yourselves today, because today is introspection day. Tomorrow is Yawmul Hisab, the day of accountability. Tomorrow is Yawmul Hisab. Hasibu qabla an tuhasabu. But today you have to take an account. Today. Before tomorrow you will have to give an account. Today. From water. خلق الله كل شيء من ما. Allah created every single thing from water. This insane, his existence, this very mankind that we look at in the mirror, we look at the beautiful features, we look at how handsome we are, how beautiful the sisters are, this insane Allah created from water. And after living for a certain period of time, suddenly Allah is going to send death upon this insane. Allah is going to send malikal mouth upon this insan. But what is mouth? What is death? This thing that is known as death, the scientists of today, the scientists of yesterday, and the scientists who are yet to come, presently there are over 200 theories that the scientists have come up with as to explain what this thing called death is. That is this, that is that, that is this, that is that. What is that? 200. And all are wrong. All are wrong. What the Quran has stated about that is the haq. The Quran tells us what that is. The Quran tells us that Allah speaks and Allah says, Allah yatawaffal anfusa hina mawtiha. That when Allah takes the ruh, when Allah takes the soul of a person, that is, time, that is the time his death comes. That is the time. When Allah takes the ruh, Ali radiallahu ta'ala an, he used to say, al maut laysa min al fawt, that death, you cannot escape it. In akam talahu akazakum. If you will, if you will oppose it, it will overpower you. Wa in farau tu minhu adarakakum. And if you run from it, it is going to find you. It is going to find you. Allah tells the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to tell the people, tell his sahaba, tell the ummah, tell mankind. Qul inna al-maut al-ladhi tafiruna minhu fa inna hu mulaqikum. The very death that you are running from, the very death that you don't even think about, that tomorrow might be my last, today might be my last, this Juma might be my last. We are running from it. We don't want to accept that one day I have to go. We are running from it. Allah is commanding His Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say to them, "Qul inna al-maut al-ladhi tafiruna minhu." The very death that you are running from, fa inna hu mulaqi. It is going to meet you up. It is going to catch up with you. Subhanallah. The Quran tells us, "Aina ma takunu yudrikum al maut, wala kuntum fi buruj mushayyada." Run. Run, run wherever you want, wherever you want. But subhanallah, on its appointed time, that death that you are running from, it's going to find you even if you are in fortified fortresses. Wherever you are, it's going to come. لَوْ كَانَتِ الدُّنْيَا تَدُومُ لِأَهْلِهَا لَكَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ فِيهَا مُخَلَّدًا Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. If this world was going to allow anyone to live forever, 
then my dear brothers and my dear sisters, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would have not tasted from the fountain of death. He would not have tasted from the cup of death. Subhanallah. Kullu nafsin maut. Every single soul will have to taste it. Every soul will have to taste it. If you want to know the reality of this world, we are living here, we are caught up here, we are taken up here. If you want to know the reality of this world, then go to the Qabristan. Go to the cemetery, go to the graveyard, go and look at those desolate graves that are lying there. Go and see who is buried there, my dear brothers and my sisters. Find time, make time and go. The same politician, the same governor, the same minister, the same ruler, the same wealthy man, the same king. You go and see those people who when they appear in your premises, when they appear on your midst, people will say, make way, make way. The governor is here, the minister is here, so and so is here. Go and see what is the outcome and the result of them today. Go in the cemetery and you will see. Subhanallah, today his body has become food for the insects. And those insects, they are eaten by other insects. Look at how the poet rightly puts it. The poet, he tells us, many people sing the Nath. They sing the Qasida. Dilaga fil naho ikadam. Ye dunia chor jana hai. Bagaiche chor har kali zami andar samana hai. Allah. This world, do not ever become gawfil. Do not become heedless. Do not become unmindful that this very world, it will, you will have to leave it one day. It will come to an end. You have to leave the fascinating world one day. You have to go. Your soft beds, it will give way to the hard surface of the earth and your bodies will become food for worms. Every single person, my dear brothers and sisters, will have to go in a hole. They will have to go in a cover. And this cover, this grave, this hole, every single day it is making a proclamation. It is making an announcement. Every day the cover is calling out. And I beg to do it. And I beg to Vulma. And I beg to Wahda. And I beg to Wahsha. I am the house of insects. I am the home. Of darkness, I am the home of loneliness, I am the home of worms. Oh mankind, know very well, prepare yourselves, because very soon you will be coming to me. Every single day, the cover is calling out. Where are we? Where are we? We put so many people in the holes. We bury so much. We attend the janazas of so much. But where are we when it comes to how much we are thinking about mouth? Are we thinking that it cannot happen to us? Every single one of us, we're going to have to give an account in the court of Allah. We have to answer to Allah. And as I said, this is the day that we need to do some introspection. This is the day we have to ask ourselves, how much longer are we going to revel in this worldly life? Does insan think that he's going to be left on control? Does he think that this world is the end? After he dies and he leaves here, that is the end of it all? No, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. It is the beginning of everlasting life. Ya you al insan, the Quran is saying, O oh mankind, in nawad Allah he hap, that certainly the promise of Allah is true. What promise? Which promise is Allah speaking about? In nawad Allah he hap, Allah is saying, certainly Allah is putting emphasis, not that Allah have to emphasize, if Allah says that his promise is true, his promise is true, but Allah is using inna, Certainly, verily, my promise is true. The promise of Allah is true. What promise is true? 
that minha kalaknakum wa fiha nuidukum wa minha nukhrijukum taratan ukra that it is from this dust this mud this earth we created you into this earth into this mud into this dirt we going to send you back and from this very dirt and mud we going to bring you back once again to life that is the promise of allah and that is true that is true look at the kings look at the beggar all in the same place all in the same place qul ayyi wa rabbi innahu la haqq la tub'athun oath after oath after oath allah takes in the quran that this resurrection this raising up this death it is haqq it is true it is true why are we not preparing for it why are we living as though we're going to live forever we are living without preparing for tomorrow ya ayu alladhina amanu taqullah wal tanzu nafsum ma qaddamat li ghad o you who have taqwa o you have iman fear your allah and let every soul look to what it has sent forth for tomorrow let every soul look towards what provision it has made for tomorrow the great day in the court of allah Allah is telling us that we will be raised up we will have to give an account to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the court of Allah how much more mercy how much more mischief are we going to commit on the face of Allah's earth how much more are we going to continue to revel and defy the command, commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how much more azan are we going to lend deaf ears to How much more salat we going to miss or qaza? How much more time we going to waste on the face of Allah's earth? Where are we going to find the peace? Where are we going to find the solace my dear brothers and my dear sisters? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is questioning he is asking that this humanity this humanity is in a big loss this humanity they have lost their way they have lost their way they are in deception they are there is no profit for this humanity people are looking for peace and comfort in every single thing except in the book and the kitab of Allah the hearts have become restless the hearts They have become uneasy which heart has become uneasy which heart has become restless ask yourselves and you will see how much you toss and turn at night how much you grieve and worry about those hearts that has failed to recognize Allah's qudrat and Allah's power they have become restless uneasy the heart which is not breathing with the love of Allah the heart which is not beating with the love of allah that heart my dear brothers and sisters it does not know that the, the, the i look with allah it does not know the connection with allah there is no link with this heart and allah there is no relationship with this heart and allah this heart has become ghafil this heart has become heedless how could this heart find solace and peace this heart is only dunya 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 the whole humanity look and you will see we are searching we have become bechain as they will say we have become very uneasy restless because we are searching for peace but we are searching for it in every other nook and corner except the right place we are searching for peace of mind we are searching for peace of the heart with the haram woman in the haram things outside there we are searching for peace with our children in zina we are searching for peace in the glitters and the glamours of the world we are searching for peace in the ringing of the coins we are searching for peace in the music that we turn on in our radios every single day in our homes we are searching for peace in this music when the prophet sallallahu Allah wa sallam he is telling us that this music it is the instrument of shaitan some people say al ghina to amul li ruh that the music it is food for the soul it is food for the soul this is what we say Allahu akbar but the very music our nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says it is the voice of shaitan 
and he never lies. And he says this very music, al ghina that this ghina yung bitun nifaq of il qalb, it brings hypocrisy in your heart, it brings nifaq in your heart, it grows the nifaq in your heart, just like the water grows the plants. These are the words of our Habib. These are the words of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So much this music have affected us that we are looking for peace of mind. And we are thinking that we are finding it in there. That the ulama, they have stated that because of that music that we have been engrossed with, that sometimes death takes us and we cannot utter kalima. And this is the state that we leave the world. This is the state. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. When we stay away from this, when we stay away from this, the prohibitions of Allah, the prohibitions of His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, stay away from it and what will Allah give you in exchange? What does Allah have to replace that with? Because every single thing on the face of the earth, there is a replacement. There is a substitute. The hadith of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna Allah ta'ala yuhi ila shajaratil jannah an asma'i ibadi alladhina shagalu anfusahum bi dhikr anil ma'adhi wal qinat bi dhikr tusmi'ahum aswatin ma samia al-ins wal jinn. The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, مَا مِنْ عَبْدٍ يَدْقُلُ الْجَنَّةِ إِلَّا وَيَجْلِسُ عِنْدَ رَأْسِهِ وَإِنْدَ رِجْلَيْهِ ثِنْتَيْنِ مِنَ الْحُورِ الْعِينِ تُغَنِّيَانِهِ بِأَحْسَنِ صَوْتِ مَا سَمِعَهُ الْجِنُّ وَالْعِنْسِ Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. That ummati of mine, that ummati of mine, when the music blares up, when the music begins to blast, he covers up his ears. Not that ummati of mine, when the truth is being proclaimed, he puts his hand on his ears, he doesn't want to hear. We don't really put our hands, but it goes through one ear and it comes through the other one. But when the music blares up, ah, this is what we want to listen to. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying that ummati of minds, when the music blares up, he covers his ears, he will not listen to the haram music of this world. In Jannat, Allah will command two huris to sit on his head, two, two huris to sit by the feet. The trees of Jannat, the leaves of Jannat will be commanded by Allah now, al-an, right now, play music. Play music. Allahu Akbar. These women whose voices are such that if a dead man were to hear the voices of these women in Jannah, he will be given life. He will be raised from the dead. A living man, if he was to hear the voices of these who is in Jannah, his liver will split out of joy and delight. If she were to spit in the oceans in the world, this water will become sweet. She will start singing and the trees will start singing and the birds will start singing. Be ahsani sautin ma samiahul insu al jinn. Such a beautiful and melodious orchestra will occur in Jannah, my dear brothers and sisters. For this Jannati who had covered up his ears, that no insan and no jinn has ever, ever heard the like of it before. In exchange for this that we have in the world. This is what is written here. Come to the obedience of your Allah. Come to the obedience of your Allah. How long are we going to keep running from Allah? How long are we going to keep ourselves away from our Allah? How long, my dear brothers and sisters, are we going to continue to make war with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How long are we going to continue in our masiyat and our sins, in our disobedience to Allah? They are searching for this inner peace, searching in music, searching in haram, searching in riba, searching in sharab, in khamr, in alcohol, searching in gambling, searching in the dens of vices, searching in the glimmers and the glamours of this world. My dear brothers and sisters, they will never ever find that peace. 
they will never find it because that peace will never be found in that bring me one person bring me one person i ask you who have claimed to find inner peace who have claimed to find a peace of heart in these things the millionaires of the world you ask them and you will see those who have gotten their dollars through haram means ask them and you will see if they live in peace with all the millions that they have, they still cannot find peace. And if there is one such person who claims that he has found peace in a manner like this, in all these different things, then my dear brothers and my dear sisters, the book of my Allah will be telling a lie. And the book of my Allah does not lie, because it is such a book, La Roy Bafi, there is no doubt in it, there is no discrepancy in it, there is no dalal and misguidance in it. The book of Allah is Al-Haq, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Allah... Allah, Allah is calling out. Allah is saying, listen, oh people. Listen, oh mischief makers. Listen, oh people who have become arrogant over your wealth. Oh, you people who are hankering over the dunya. Oh, you people who are destroying your akhira. Oh, you people who are allowing your children to imitate the Yahud and the Nasara. Oh, you people, Allah is saying, if you follow the fashion of the West, you will never find that peace. Allah, hearken, put your ears up be zikr illahi tatma'innul qulub only with the zikr of Allah your hearts will find peace only with the zikr of Allah remembering your Allah your heart is going to find solace it's going to find peace today is a day that our hearts have to find peace when we look back at all these years that Allah had given to us it is a great day in history. It is the last day in the Islamic calendar. The last day of this year, Friday. The last Friday of this year. Let us see where we had faltered, where we went wrong. And let us start to run back to Allah. Let us run back to Allah. Fafiru Allah. Fafiru Allah, the Quran tells us. Come back to your Allah. Allah is giving us chances upon chances upon chances. Come back to Allah. How long are we going to continue running from Allah? In that ta'aluk, in that association, in that link, in that connection, in that nisbah, in that relation with Allah, tatma'innul qulub, our hearts will find the peace that it wants. So that when Malikul Maut comes and our eyes are looking towards the heavens, we are smiling, we are happy because the doors and the gates of Jannah have been opened for us. The heart finds peace. No grief over the heart, no worry over the heart. Subhanallah. La taqafu wa la tahsan. No sadness, no grief, no worry. The heart is happy. This is the heart. This is the time. This is the time to purify it. This is the time to make fikr. This is the time to make worry. This is the time to make dhikr. This is the time to remember Malikul Maut. If we had forgotten him, he is knocking our do on our doors every single day. Knocking on, on our doors. The Qasida, it tells us beautifully again, you know. It says, Dawlat huya hakumat, taqat huya jawani, har cheez mitni wali, har cheez ani jani. Ye sab gurur ek din, mitti me ja milega, ya de kuda ki ye ja, tujhe ko kuda milega. Allah. Be it wealth, be it power, be it strength, be it youth, everything, everything that you meet here, it will come and it will go. It will vanish. It has to go. One day your proud selves also will lie in the bowels of the earth. But if you remember your Allah, if you remember your Lord, Ya De Kudaki Eja, just by remembering your Allah, you will find that peace that you are looking for. So my dear brothers and my dear sisters, this is the time when we need to do some introspection and see, what have I done? How have I hurt my brothers and sisters? 
how much rumors am I spreading about my brothers and sisters? How much gibbet and backbiting am I indulging? How much slander I am indulging? How much lies and gossip I am indulging? How much goodness I am indulging? Wait. Wait. Today is a day for that. Because tomorrow, when we start to take back from people, tomorrow when we stand in the court of Allah, and we say, this Allah, do you see this person here, Allah? This person had wronged me. This person had slandered me. This person had spread mischief about me. This person had harmed me. This person had hurt me. And we start to take back from people. Allah is saying, through his Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that when you think that you did mountains of goodness, mountains of goodness, they will all be taken from you and given to those people who you did all these bad things to. So much so that you will be left with nothing. You will be left with nothing. And the sins of these people will be thrown on your back now. You make the choice. Make the choice. Whenever, whenever we see people bringing gossips and bad, bad rumors and backbiting and slander, don't lend no air to that. Let this be. Let this be one of your New Year resolution. Let these airs not be, not be dirtied or soiled with listening to those things that Allah is displeased with. If we can only bring an air that has only listened to halal, my dear brothers and sisters, I tell you, wallahi by Allah, these very airs will hear Allah, Allah, crowing from the cock. These very airs will hear the word Allah, Allah, chirping from the birds. These very airs will hear Allah, Allah, in the roaring of the lion. They will hear Allah, Allah, in the rolling of the thunder. But where can we find such an air? We have dirtied it. And this is why Allah tells us in the Quran, on the day of Qiyamah, He is going to seal it up. Seal up the mouth. Seal up every part of your bodies. And these things, they're going to speak for or against you. Don't think that Allah can't do it. Allah has power over everything. Allah has stated that. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we come to the ending of this Islamic year, I ask myself and yourselves too, let us be able to do what is good, to do what is right. Let us overlook each other's faults. Let us come together as one ummah, the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let us stop whatever wrongs we are doing and let us come on the path of haq. Let us try to encourage and help each other rather than coming down on each other. Let us try. Let us try. If nothing is wrong in trying. We can try and fail, but never fail to try. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the understanding and the reality of what life is about and the certainty of what is yet to come, the day of judgment and this thing which is known as maut, this thing which is known as death. Wal akhir dawana and alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. His face So beautiful Bestow